there are a lot of oil leaks and this car I've done a lot of tracing uh, and I've also changed some some other caskets and uh, sealants however there is one one eating place where I noticed that the uh, oil is leaking now you see this is the this is the ABS assembly and just below it you can see if you look at where my finger is you see this this is a VTC solenoid and you can see um, right up around it are plenty of oil leaks see that's a VTC it has a um, an electrical connection to read it is completely soaked around it is completely soaked with the engine oil see if you go down zoom in see even around it you see a lot of oil leaks okay so so that's what I'm working on today. Um, it's held in position by. You can see it's held in position by. By this. By ten millimeter bolt. It's pretty a tight corner, so a lot of patience is required to get this um, ten millimeter bolt out. Um, disconnect the wire harness to read the electrical connect connection to the VTC um, solenoid. Um, disconnect the electrical connect connection to read. Um, remove, unscrew the the ten millimeter bolts. Bring out the. I then bring out the solenoid. Um, remove the rubber. Uh, uh, gasket and uh, put it back and do some cleaning that is to clean out the oil around it okay so let's get started so first I'll remove this ground cable that is connected um, to the engine mount you can see this ground cable so that I have some more space to work with Okay, so that's the yeah, that's the 10 millimeter bolt that is holding the VTC solenoid in place. I have to get it out to enable me bring out the VTC solenoid and replace the the leaking the, or fix the leaking. Okay, so.
Okay, here it is. Set it aside. Okay, so I've been able to to break loose the VTC solenoid um, using uh, this long nose plier. Uh, at some point, I had to even um, losing the power steering pump just to get some space in between to to enable me. Um, pull out using the using this long nose plier. Okay, now you see I've not disconnected the harness. Um, that is it. Okay, so one thing you must avoid if you are to do this yourself is avoid pulling the wire harness connector. Okay, because if you do that, you might end up damaging. The solenoid and uh, in my case it's just oil leak so just to replace the seal and not to destroy it okay so you see now that is break loose is free well from the factory manual or the repair manual by under it's not supposed to be stiff because the manual just says take off the 10 millimeter bolts and then bring out the solenoid the VTC solenoid so I just disconnected it and uh, voila that is it this is what has been leaking oil you can see you can see the under of it plenty of oil leak uh, and the oil leak has spread around this part of the engine even onto the alternator at some point the oil was dripping and getting to the to the belt the serpentine belt and the serpentine belt helped to distribute the leaking oil around this uh, passenger side of the engine. And uh, this is one of the cause. So now I'm going to clean out this the VTC solenoid and then replace this gasket or this seal so that oil won't be leaking this this way okay so yeah it is I've done some cleaning I have to use um, this um, to clean it to clean it up some more and it is looking pretty good see the screens are, are clear so next I want to um, replace this replace this o-ring I'll replace the, the gasket uh, the o-ring and I will install it back and then bear in mind um, please where it is it's um it's eating um, so I have to take off this I have to take off these ground bolts okay and then auto shifted the power steering pump um, just enable me have better access to it and then this tool this uh, this plier was very useful in trying to you know to pull it out um, yet again I'm saying if you are to do this by yourself um, please you need some patience and uh, never grab the electrical connector uh, while trying to pull it out okay in as much as you can please don't don't grab it by the electrical connector and pulling it out um, you have to hold the body with the grip plier or the this long plier and try to pull it out okay this controls um, oil flow 
all right so uh, next I'll, I'll get um, this o-ring or the casket and uh, I'll replace and then install it back in reverse order okay and that will be all thank you